It's day 13. We are almost halfway done. We are doing the avocado toast today. <laughs> so um, this is going to give you some practice with um, a lot of things that we've worked on. The ellipses, the perspective with the toast, working on some different textures. I'm using a ballpoint pen again. They are just a great medium for being able to do um, a variety of values. You can get things really dark. You can make some really gentle soft lines for sketching in or for lighter values so they're just a um a fun tool to use so grab what you want to do um what you want to use for that you can also do this one as a paint study if you feel confident with that um for the proportion on the um, plate that's like the first thing that you're going to want to measure and the way i established that was just hold your pencil up to measure and see how tall what you see of the plate is versus how wide it is. So when I did that measurement, I found that the um, the width of the plate was just under two, I think between one and a half and two um lengths of the of the height of the plate so you're measuring from the top rim of the plate to the bottom rim and you see how tall that is and then you flip your pencil sideways and do that measurement you know keep that proportion and see how many of those um measurements fit inside the the length of it so check the width by the length and then other than that i'm just looking i've got we've got fun cast shadows on here we've got a variety of little shadow pockets and cast shadows on the toast itself there it is um all right and it's your turn so in this one you're going to have about um 12 minutes and get everything established to get those um the perspective lines the ellipses and things in there and then a few minutes in i think maybe around seven minutes in I'm going to zoom it up for you so that you can see some of the texture on the toast. And if you've gotten to the place where you've gotten in those other things, and this will just help you see a little bit of detail to add in to the toast, which is really fun. There's like the, all those fun little, it's like a moon texture almost, you know, all those fun little pockets and things going on in there. And then of course, the, also the texture on the avocado, you've just got a variety of little um, shapes and squint your eyes, you know, try to see in terms of lights and darks if you're, you know, if the detail is bogging you down. So again, it's going to like zoom in for you. You'll have a few minutes zoomed and then it'll zoom back out so that you can continue to work on your big picture. Um, to get the cast shadow, it's pretty simple, but one thing you can do is just check the angle from where the cast shadow on the, that the plate's casting. Um, see where it starts at the bottom of the plate and then where it finishes up at the top of the plate and just get that line um, dissecting through the plate to see where to wrap that shadow around. Um, and that is about it so again that zoomed one is coming have fun enjoy this <laughs> hope it's enjoyable it's different it's a weird mix of organic shapes and and like those industrial shapes but that is life in general so it's good to be able to start practicing that together and just get that um you know that synthesis of those kind of more rigid structures and mechanically made things or um industrial things and then add in that organic stuff so hopefully that'll be an interesting challenge for you
Okay, we've zoomed in here and you can see the textures, the little nuances of the edges. Um, so have fun looking at all of that and just getting a little more of that in there. Um, if you're painting, you know, just to, you can, this is a good time to like just double check your colors and, and you can hold them right up to the screen and just see how well it matches. Um, and then of course, keep checking the values, the, how dark it is, how light it is compared to the things around it. Um, when it's zoomed in like this, you can see the little cast shadows that the avocado is throwing um, on the toast and on itself as areas of it come up. So look for those little cast shadows and then those little deeper pockets of um, shadow in there. Okay, so this is the last little bit on this um, sketch. Great work today. Add in any dark accents that you need, any highlights, um, any adjustments that you need to make. Sit back and look and squint at the reference and then look at your work and see if it kind of matches the value patterns you're seeing there. Great job. And I will see you tomorrow.